Yeah, I'm actually quite glad about certain things that have happened on the internet. Alright? I'll tell you one of them why. Seeing Kip come under attack like he has done off these cunts. He's made me trust Kip because I always had a big fucking doubt over him. Uh, and now I don't, which is good. Because I've always liked him. I think he knows that. You know. Um, so I'm glad. Not that you've been attacked, but I'm glad it's opened my eyes. I just wish it would open yours, Kip. So what's going on? Because this is up. It's got up written all over it. I know you think they're just paranoid nut jobs. But they're far more organised than that. Can you imagine the amount of time and energy? These fuckers. I mean, I don't really invest a great deal of time and energy doing my videos. I just pop a video off. I don't load it. If it's a 30 minute video, it's took me 30 minutes. That's why I don't fuck about editing or fucking out like that, you know what I mean? I run out of steam at about 20 minutes usually anyway. Not that I couldn't waffle for fucking hours and hours and hours, because I obviously can, but... You know... Uh, but... You can act as shilly as you want and people won't think you're a shell. I've done it. Gaslit, 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 you know what I mean? <laughs> So that's why it's really easy for shills to stand in plain sight. Russell Brand, Joe Rogan. <laughs> uh, that's been a good, a good positive thing for me. Um. I can't stand injustice, you know what I mean? I just can't fucking stand it. As soon as I smell it, I, I just have to fuck it. Even if, you know, I'm even like, sort of like, I've got a, a major hate of Rebel Rhymes, he fucking hates me. Can't, you know, really detest me. Thinks that I am... Um, A programmer for the panties. Fair enough, mate. I don't blame you. Be paranoid. You know, and there's nothing I can say that I would want to change your mind, right? But, and this isn't a put down to you, Rebel Rhymes, one bit, right? You're not well. And you're damaging your brain and you need you need to be very careful your head's going to fall off mate basically really well you know when I was dossing it came to a point I thought I better go and get a job because I was gonna, you know, we're gonna go, we're gonna end up slipping beyond the point of, well, the point of no return, you know what I mean, like, to normality. You know, at least I can operate in a normal situation in the day to day world. You know, I don't hold back, you know, a lot of my customers, they sit down and they, they wanna know all sorts, of, you know, because they know I'm the man to ask, like, you know what I mean? That's me about everything, all of it, chemtrails, you name it. And on some of the theories, I tell them, yeah, well, I, I agree with, you know, the royal family, a bunch of paedophile fucking weird cunts. You know, and that's a bit like, chemtrails are impractical. Because you'd have to go up and down the fuel. It, it, it's a big fucking sky. You know, I've lived looking over Manchester Airport later on, it gets messy, there's planes. They're not constantly chemming the airport, are they? What will be the point in that? See, that, there you go, there's a proof for you that you can actually use in your mind and think, right, these planes, it gets 
contrailed up over the airport. Why would they just be wasting all the poison over the airport? Well, they wouldn't if they were turning a switch on and off. But yeah, it gets messy over the airport later on at night when you look over it. That tells you the chemtrails are a lie. You know, and I don't want you to fuck up, right? Yeah, we know there's a Zionist threat on the planet. It's not a Jewish threat, it's a Zionist threat. It's not a skullcap Jew that's the enemy of mankind. It's the Israeli government and the elite that are involved in it. And that's worldwide, yeah. They're not all Jews. So, let's back off on the Jews. I've known a few, good few Jews in my time. Not much to say, you know what I mean? Just Jews. That I, I worked with one years ago. Um, my mum added up one for a boss. He was an orthodox Jew. Melvin Flack. He's dead now. He was a magistrate. Uh, but... Pretty much your average Jew that you'd meet in the street it just wouldn't know what the fuck you were on about when you were accusing them of all this and that. They wouldn't have a clue. And they're going to get fucking... They are getting attacked, battered. Don't forget, Islam and Judaism are the oldest war on earth. Don't forget it. What's happened to... The Palestinians is criminal. Uh, but they actually hold more of a grudge. Islam holds more of a grudge than Judaism, to be quite honest. The Judaism or the secularism of Israel is very modern. It's actually staged the way for progress all over the West as well. If you want to call it progress. But it's the evolution of man. You know, we're coming away from religion, slowly, but surely. I used to think that was a frightening thing, but now I think it's a fucking excellent idea. The further you can get away from religiosity, the better you will be, the better for all. Saying I'm not I'm not having to go at people for having a belief in God. That's fine. I'm down with that. Myself. For all this tittle tattle that's been written down. No. What if it is true and the Bible is really written by I won't call him the opposer or it, because at the end of the day all is God and God is great but what if that book is a test to see if you can get over it? What if it's a test to see if you can have the mental stability to have faith in not needing such silly fucking ideas? Yeah, you honour your mother, you honour your father, yeah. You don't kill, yeah. You don't shag your neighbour's wife, but they're just good ideas, aren't they? But the majority of what's in the book, even when you know it and you look into it and you can't an eye an understanding of it, they still fuck all. For me now, it's nothing. I mean, I can disseminate. I can go on about it for days, you know deep understandings of it but again it's still only a man that's written with a pen 
thousands of years ago. And, you know, we're still holding it as something. I think we're fucking playing a dangerous game. But on the serious note of you, Mr. Crimes. I am actually worried about you, to be honest. That's genuinely, I'm worried about you. Don't be cross, man. You're a dick. You're this, you're that. All right, that's fine. But I am genuinely worried about you. I can really see you coming unstuck mentally, doing something stupid, whatever that would be. So, if you want to contact me, and we'll, you want to chat, you can record it, that's fine, I won't be recording it, I don't give a fuck, but if you want to have a chat, then we can, obviously, I don't think we're building bridges, but if there's anything that you want to ask me, you know, I am absolutely willing to talk to you, you know, you can grill me, so why is this, why is that, and maybe at the end of a conversation, you might chill out a little bit on me. Yeah? You might not. You might rip it up and put it up online and fucking rah 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 and start with it. But that's fine, I'm not bothered about that. I've no fear of that. But I do have a little niggling fear that You might have some regrets on how you've been going about things and to be quite honest, I'm so forgiving me and I mean that. So forgiving. You're fine. You know, we can start again if you want. You can explain to me all this bird shit. Fully explain it to me instead of just having little videos I can't really follow on. You know, really get to terms with me. So right, maybe I'll be doing videos on it too. What, get on this bird shit? I, I might do. Yeah, but there's my hand, if you want to shake it, you want to sort things out, I don't mind. I, we'll probably never be mates and all that, but maybe we would. You know what I mean? Not on your own, mate. If you need it, I'll be there anyway. No matter what. Kick me, I'll still be there. Like a fucking dog. You know what I mean? Right. So, we'll be one.